of the disguise. Let me back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and highly favored. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same about you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much. Um, being able to resonate with each other while we're going on these trials and tribulations, just trying to keep our head above water. And just, you know, keeping keeping faith in, you know, better days coming, you know, um, and seeing things we truly need to see and being able to learn new things along the way. So, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to come the next video also if you are comfortable enough i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me so even if you drop a couple of lines even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video bring this up tell me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction or if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or if you could advise you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even if you know, impact or going through some really you know, dark times, maybe validation and confirmation towards their life purpose, soul purpose, or divine purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, uh, the meditation I'm using is cleanse, cleanse self-doubt, release, trap, negative energy, destroy inner conflict and struggle. And I will send link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, when source makes you wait. I've seen this post and I'm gonna use it as my thumbnail anyway. Uh for this video it will source make you wait. You know when we going through our ups and downs. It's like we're on an emotional roller coaster. You can be good today. Next thing you know, you'll be a hot, quick mess, just <laughs> jacked up the next day. You know, you could be having a good day this day. And next thing you know, you know, an old memory come back and triggered you, and you're right back at square one. It's like you're going through, through the push and pull factor. Um, having your good days and your bad days. You know, not every day is going to be good. Not every day is going to be bad. But we're learning something each and every day. And it, it's just like you can get, get, get frustrated. You know, I've gotten frustrated. You know, I, I love doing my videos. I love pushing out positivity. But, yeah, I get frustrated sometimes, you know, dealing with certain things, trying to let go of certain things and trying to place certain things in my life along the way that I truly want. You know, but it, it's all a learning process. And as you get frustrated, you're heading towards things trying to figure out why you have to go through so many hard times you know like if you're on social media you you see that uh those posts um you know and they'll say god why are you taking me out to trouble waters he's like because your enemies can't swim you know they can't not where he's about to take you so it's just like when you're going through so many things and you're like oh this person left me or oh this person broke up with me or oh i lost this job Everything in your life is happening for a reason. A lot of times, you know, we tend to question. My mom always used to tell me, my mom was like, my mom was an empath as well. She was like, girl, don't you ever question God's, uh, God's doing that's why you don't want to. I learned a hard way. You, you should never question God, universe, sources, situation uh, about what, what they're placing in your life. There's a lot of times that these, these people that are on the journeys with you, they cannot be where you are. You know, there's a lot of times you might have planned something in your life and all of a sudden it went to a halt. God and universe didn't allow, they didn't want that for you because it probably would have messed you up the long way because sometimes they stop what you're about to destroy. So you have to be patient. And I have to tell myself that all the time. I hate being patient. I said, if you tell me that one more time and I know I need to stop saying that, I said, Lord, please forgive me, but I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm tired of hearing one more time or just keep holding on. You just don't, you know, you're not seeing the bigger picture. Or you don't understand what's in store. You never know what's in store for your life. You know, you have to keep going. You know, there's times you want to know how things are going to come in your life or how is it going to play out. You can't 
worry about all those things. You have to be focused. But you, you know, you know what you don't put and left at God's feet, or left at Creator's feet, or left at Source or Universe. You know the things that you want in life that you don't left at their feet. So if you want these things, and you know this is what they want for you too, there's a lot of things you're going to have to go through, jumping through monkey hoops, being mad, separating yourself, you know, getting on different levels where, you know, you're having to sacrifice. They're like, okay, you want this, you're going to have to let this and this and this and that go. You know, you know how hard it was for me to stop smoking weed? <laughs> You know, I was, I've been doing that since 2012. You know, my job had me smoking like six or seven blunts a day. I mean, that was stressful because I was trying so hard not to sit up here and peel my scalp back. So, yes, I stayed high. I can admit that. I don't have no shame in my game because I'm not, that's not even me anymore. You know, when I got stressed out, I would chain smoke like crazy going through a pack of cigarettes a day. Probably two packs. You know, and it's just now I don't like smell of weed sometimes I'm like oh it smells good and I'm just like nah you don't need that in your life you know deal with everything head on you know I ain't gonna sit up here and you know hate on somebody else is doing it you know what is meant for your life is meant for your life when I needed that God allowed that to be in my life because he knew I was dealing with a lot of stuff and he know I'm quick to lay hands I didn't know <laughs> no he was like oh lord you know we end up killing somebody you know um but I went through the things I went through. I had to let go of the things I had to let go of. There's a lot of people that I wanted to stay in my life. But then I'm turning around and looking like we ain't even on the same level. And sure enough, we ain't in the same zip code. You could live right across the street from me. We ain't still in the same zip code. You know? And it's just like I don't look at them different. But it's just like we, we ain't vibing like that no more. So it's just like a lot of times, you know, the creator and them will have you going through all these all these different situations allowing you to um experience a lot of losses a lot of setbacks a lot of severing cords you know um turning your back on people that you never thought you would it's just like going through this situation i had godmothers that was close to me and you know they were best friends with my adopted mom i don't even talk to them people anymore i don't and i mean it hurts because i used to go to them all the time they were like my second mom we don't even vibe anymore you know, I had so many people turn their back on me, you know, when they found out the things they found out. You know, they got mad because I never said nothing about that. I, I mean, I can't tell you something I'm not really sure of. And it's just like, that's a sore subject. So why would I show anybody anything who would be telling you? You probably wouldn't believe me anyway. So it's just like all the di things I had to experience in life has taught me so many valuable, valuable lessons. You know, and yeah, I get mad because I'm still feeling like I'm in a nightmare I can't wake up from. Yeah, you know, I wonder why certain things happen when they happen. But then when I can really sit back and look at it and really, you know, settle down without, you know, getting huffing, puffing and really seeing them just like, dang, you know, now I see what you're talking about. And there's a lot of times we have to go through something and then we got to sit back and just observe a lot of things and see it for what it really is. I mean, you've been friends with people that you probably grew up with they look like total strangers to you now you know you're at you know you were at a job and end up having a spe special awakening I mean uh not a special awakening but a spiritual awakening and then you're looking like this don't even make any daggone sense <laughs> you know because you can't function like that no more because you're not in that 3d you know material worldly you know worldly situation anymore you know, you're on your way to a different level. So it's like everything you're starting to see is like through a fresh pair of eyes. You're not seeing it like you used to see it. So it's just like all these different experiences has taught you one thing or another. You know, you have gotten strength from your pain. You got strength from your trauma, your setbacks, your mistakes, your failures. You know, and also taught you a lot of things. And, you know, if you didn't go, you know, it's just like while you're waiting on these things, you're improving yourself. You're improving how you respond. You know, uh, the people that you, you know, you don't know, worked on your mindset so hard. You, you're very picky about who you allow in your life like that. I do that a lot. Because if I start seeing vibes from the first daggone day, you, I'm going I'm to drop you like you, you contagious. <clears throat> I'm not going to do it. I will not. You know, because it worked. It, my mindset is like, no, you know, I've been through too much. You know, and there's some people that's supposed to be in your life, and it's just like, you know, it's, with us being empaths, we we tend to gravitate. Have people come towards us that are broken in so many ways, abused in 
so many ways and there's a lot of people you cannot help you know that, that those are tests too are you gonna allow these people in your life knowing you see all these red flags popping up they probably got a red flag and they're swinging it like this and you trying to oh i can fix you you're not supposed to be able to fix fix everybody you have to learn when to say no at times and you shouldn't feel bad i used to feel bad for saying no because i really didn't want to do that but you know if you you know you need to you need to do things for yourself you have to be able to learn things do all these process and knowing you know why while they're having you wait and you don't prey upon something and i've said this many times before especially if you've been watching my videos you could be praying on something and you left it at the creator's feet when you get finished doing what you're doing and you you running this you help running this crazy war and help fighting that fight when you finally get them things them blessings gonna come flying into where it's gonna overwhelm you like oh my gosh something else you, i mean and it's just like you have seen other people come into some blessings and they keep coming and keep coming and keep coming and it's not exactly what they prayed for that is something they prayed for but they're getting like 20 times more than what they did because you got to trust and believe if they're making you wait for something they got something you weren't even about to process about what is about to come into your life and it can't be something you will calculate because it's not going to be around that time when you think it's going to come in it's going to come it's just going to come up and just sneak you <laughs> like you get into a fight and just oh man here it is you know caught you off guard but you deserve all these things that are coming into your life but you have to be able to be patient and i have to tell myself that being able to put your faith don't put your faith in man because man will disappoint you every time. You put your, your faith into the powers that be up there. You keep doing what you need to do. But while you're doing that, this is working on you. You know, and they see, oh gosh, you know, they're not sitting here and wait. Because I know people that will sit up here and say, I want change in my life. I want change in my life. But not doing nothing to help change. You're thinking it's going to change on its own. No, when you want change, you got to be that change. You know, just like I said earlier, you've been placed in situations not for you to change it, change the situation, but for you, you to be changed throughout that situation. Because it's like a lot of times we go through different things. You know, my current situation has got me looking at everything from different angles, observing all the things I need to observe and just kindly taking notes on it and just sitting back. You know, but I'm doing what I need to do. I push out more videos when I'm going through something. I make sure I do a video on it because you never know who else is going through this. They probably need somebody to put, make some kind of sense out of their crazy situation. You know, it's a toxic situation. You're trying to understand what direction do I go? What do I do? You know, what do I even know what I'm getting into? I mean, is there a label for something like this? You know, there's so many questions that we have. And it's just like, like I said, it's, it's a big blessing to me to know that my f-ups <laughs> can help somebody else make sense of their crazy f-ups so just to know that i'm not in that boat swimming by myself and knowing there's other people that goes there it gives you comfort because it you know a lot of people aren't on the same level as you but let yourself let 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 them guide you where you need to go it's just don't be trying to take everything and try to figure it out on your on your own self you'll mess yourself up like that but when they're telling you to wait and i know it might get frustrating it gives you a, your time to work on you but don't lose focus on what you truly want to come in your life so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video i'm, I'm glad i didn't make it like 15 minutes long because i'm tired of it being taken out two two or three days for it to finally get through um like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell um share give me a thumbs up drop me a line let me know how you know how your uh your your side you know give me your opinion it'll greatly be appreciated um and i'm giving a shout out to diamond king ray fisher and katie straight much love to you i'll see you on my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better day send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can because you never know your kind words can really go far for another person so i'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild